Hey, kid and folk, welcome back to Keeping It Neat, where we taste every- I don't know what I was going to do. <laughs> All right, that may be our new material for the beginning. Wow. Yay! Uh- hey, kid and folk, welcome back to Keeping It Neat. I'm Nick, certified bartender. I am Derek, executive bourbon steward. Folks, you know what we do here? We try to figure out what's going on, what's in the chug jug behind Derek. And give you the most accurate results we could and what we're trying. And you might try something different. But if you haven't yet, don't forget always subscribe down below, like, share with your friends, comment. Tell us if you liked it, if you got the same notes as us. And as always, join our Facebook group, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you like. Keeping it neat. You can't forget that name. It's pretty catchy. But are you ready to whiskey? I am ready and able, sir. Awesome. You almost forgot. I saw it. I, I, know. I, had it. I had it right there. I was ready. It's a nice nose. It does. It has a nice nose. You get some spiciness going on in there. You know, you get the the baking spice, some cinnamon in there. I think a little nutmeg too, honestly. Yeah, and I'm 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 actually getting some nuttiness on this one. Okay. Um, and I'm. Hmm. I can see the nuttiness way in the back on it for me, anyway. Uh, fruit note in there too, um, coming through like cherry. Yeah, I'm thinking cherry-ish. Yeah. Good dark cherry. Yeah. Hmm. Giving myself a little little oak. Remember, if you have to, reset yourself. Smell your arm. That'll recent you. He'll recenter you anyway for when you, you go <laughs> you go in too deep, like Nick does all the time on the nosings. But that'll, you know, bring you back to zero so you can start back out again. I'm getting those port wine notes again, that sherry casting yeah. sort of thing going on. I'm so I'm just getting like that brown sugar, those spice notes in there. I'm getting that light oakiness coming through in the background. Maybe a little maltiness in there too. I think a little malt. I could see that. Hey, I'm ready to taste it. All right, I'm in. Let's do it. Mm. So glad I just swallowed that before you did that, dude. That's I like it. It's really it's good. nice. Um it's the, light. It's not a long finish on it. Well, actually, mm-hmm. it's like that mini medium to longish kind of finish. Actually, I'll, I'll change my mind on that because I'm not getting the big Kentucky hug with it, but it, it does have a nice um palette to it. Yes, it does. And I think that it sits nicely and brightens as it sits in your palate, which is yes. nice. So you're right. It, it is weird, though. I would go with a medium palate. I would. Yep. Um, um, but I think that it's very light on the first initial taste. Uh, the, the It's got decent legs on it, too. They, they run kind of slow, so it's a little good. It's got a little oiliness to it. Um, again, on the spite. palate, the fruit note in there, that cherry, I think, definitely comes through. Yeah. Um, I'm, I am getting a lot of spice, though, right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there is like a light tanniny note in the background too, well, for I'm, me anyway. I think I'm getting vanilla on this one. I can see the vanilla in there. Ooh, just went back in for another nosing, and I guess something else I couldn't pick out. I can't really discern right now. It's interesting. It's, it's pleasant. I just don't know what it is. Hmm. It's nice. I, I mean, I I really do like this one out of the ones we've tried so far. So, um, I'm nervous to put water in it. I, I'm gonna do it only because no. we got to do it for the peeps. Thrown, yeah, and we've thrown out a lot of the ideas I think that I already had. Yep. I'm just really curious if this is gonna kill it. I really hope it doesn't. Just five drops of water in there. That's all I usually yeah. put. You know, because I mean, there's not a lot of liquid left inside the glass anyway. So you know, I mean, I don't know what the percentages once you do a drop to how much it brings down the alcohol content and it smells so nice it's Dude. very florally yes I think. I think there is a floral note in there especially more it opens up when you put that water into it mm. and the honey and stuff so yep the, the, the honey definitely um you getting again the wood is still there you're getting that oakiness in there you're getting the cherry coming through um Whoa. brown sugar okay this is gonna sound weird did it open up the alcohol content more for you? Like I feel like I gotta burn more. No, that was weird. no, it, it's kind of it kind of killed the, the palate a little bit, but not a lot. Um, I'm getting like a like a honestly, it's kind of weird, but like a coffee note in the back, like a coffee ground. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm like a coffee grind. Yeah. I got maybe coffee bean ish kind of, but in the back. I like it. It's nice. It's actually I'm very. Wondering, it, it, it is like a coffee bean, but I'm. Is it coffee or a cocoa bean? I would go coffee I I, bean. I would say more towards the coffee end. Coffee ish. You can kind of smell it too. Yeah. It's got it's like it. it's got a really nice it has a nice nose it's got a good palate it's got a good flavor to it let's write down our guesses see where we're going with this puppy um, the alcohol content is what's going to trick me up on this one all right my friend all right lead I'll show off. I will lead us in my friend so I went with a bourbon forty eight percent alcohol now I, th that's the thing that I don't know if it's a little higher might be a slight bit lower but I'm going forty eight um, H two sure I don't think it hurt it or helped it. Um, I think it'll, you know, maybe for somebody else, it may open something up for them. And I gave it a four. I, I did enjoy it. I like it. Um, I liked everything about it. So, um, so I, like I was, um, I was going to go bourbon like you did. Um, I took a risk. Oh, as I usually do. Roll um, dice. And I also was going to do 48%, but I did change it at the last second. So let's, let's review. So I think 46, 46%, I'm wondering why. Some of the spices I was getting, some of the little bit pepper notes, I'm like, mm, maybe, hmm. maybe in the grain. Um, I did a 3.5 out of 5 because I, I I enjoyed this one out more than the other ones we've done tonight. And um, this is nice. H2, I don't know. I'm kind of with you, bud. Like, it, I don't think it's going to hurt it. I don't think it's going to help it. And I just think it could work and it might not work. I think you can enjoy this any way you want, which is nice. I not think it is good. That. Definitely, I agree with you. And I, now that you said rye, when I just went in for another taste, I got like a more of the rye notes that you would get, I think, but like a, that grassy note that so, sometimes comes through with rye. So you may be on to, a, to something there, sir. You may be definitely in the ballpark. Let's see hmm. what we got, folks. Oh, all right. It is, and is we kind of missed because it's the Bell Mead Madeira cask finish. <laughs> So there was a casking on it. There was okay. a casking. It was a Madeira wine casking finish on this one. So you said a cat a, a casking. Madeira. Or something? Madeira, Madeira cask. What is that? So mean? it's a Madeira wine. It's a fortified wine. A Madeira oh, okay. wine. It's a Portuguese okay. wine. Okay. Um so which actually if you remember at the beginning, I was getting port wine yep. like notes, and I was like, oh, okay. Yep. So you were right with that. So it's a the Bell Mead Bourbon Madeira cask finish. It is 90.4% proof, 45.2% uh, alcohol, age two plus years. So it's actually fairly young. Um, I said the 46. mash. Yep. You were very close. I was 48. So you were yeah. you were closer. You were only uh, eight, eight points off, sir. Yeah. 0.8 off. Yeah. Um, the mash bill is assumed to be 64% corn, 30% rye, which is actually a high rye mash bill, um, and 6% malted barley. Um, the Nelson's Green Buyer is the distillery. The parent company is whiskey is, is sourced from MGP. So some of their stuff they were getting from MGP. It's a newer distillery. So they were getting sourcing it, but they're, they're making their own. But as of that is, you know, it's usually you have to wait X amount of years before you can get that stuff because it has to age a little bit. Um, to finish this offering, we still at casts, which were used in the production of Malmsey Madeira. Malmsey is the richest and sweetest tasting of the Madeira styles and is renowned for the depth and complexity of its honeyed flavors. We did say honey in there. Um, this is a result of the wine being cooked and fortified. The age and aged in time honored traditions of winemaking on the island of Madeira. Hmm. We fill the cask with proprietary blend of well aged bourbons. The robust flavors with, from the cask pair well with the spicy high rye content of the bourbon and create a striking profile unlike any other whiskey in the world. Bell Mead bourbon Madeira cask finish has been cut to 90.4 proof. And as with all of the products, is never chill filtered. The result of bourbon is a particular distinction in uncommon character. The. So this, oh, sorry. oh, no, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, so it's very interesting that. You said bourbon. I said rye. Bourbon was correct, but they also just said like, but the rye spices are so high that it's very similar to a rye. So I thought that's interesting. We're yeah, it is what, very four because for now, four did, now kind of in a way like we kind of got that one right. <laughs> you you are, if, did. on the nose now. I am getting the actual rye in there. You, you, I'm getting some of those notes, but you know, like to, once you know what it is, it's easier to pick that stuff out. Cool. Um, the nose, floral with vanilla and hints of toffee. So you did say floral. Nice job, buddy. Um, yeah, no. The palette was dark wildflower honey. 
vanilla ripe persimmon. So I would never, I don't think I've ever had a persimmon, so I wouldn't know what that is, but um, dried black cherry. We did say that. Caramelized yeah. sugar and baking spices and a soft velvety mouthfeel. A lengthy finish mimicking the palate with a touch of malt and chocolate. So maybe that was that note we said coffee. It's actually the chocolate. I was wondering. So you said was... cocoa. You said the cocoa bean. Yeah. So that would be more along those lines. But we were um, both close. Like we, it was, it was right on that fine line. I, we were yep. nailing it, man. Yeah. We're doing I saw that. I, I accidentally looked at the price. But what do you think this is now? This is the smaller bottle. This is the what is it? Three seventy five milliliter bottle. So this is the small bottle. Oh, that's the, like that's yeah the, the smaller bottle. bottle. You know, like the yeah the pony bottle, whatever it is. I mean, it's a small bottle. I'm gonna it's not guess the big that's, one. that's uh. It's from the distillery. 22 um this is 39.99 for this for the that Madera cast one. that little bottle and for the bigger bottle if you were to get the 750 it would be 80 dollars. what did you give for a score on this sir i gave it a 3.5 and i'll stick with that man I, right. I really did enjoy this one um i'm gonna stick with my score of four i really enjoy this bell mead is a delicious bourbon yeah. it really is it's yeah, very it. good i enjoy it a lot Yep. Um, but other than that, my friend, I got nothing else on this one. Do you? I don't. So if you're ready to leave, I'm ready to leave. But first, folks, as always, subscribe, like, tell your friends, sign up for our Facebook group. We're always talking about everything whiskey, keeping it neat. Come join us. Derek, rub it up. And as always, <laughs> <laughs> here's hoping that you find a little bit of luxury in an otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, everybody. Right. Take care. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.